Happy Camper Radio. It is the Happy Camper Radio Show, episode 263. I'm Skip. I am a happy camper, and no question about it, my friends. Gang around with us long enough, we will make a happy camper out of you. Daniel, you got your hiking pants on today. Uh, they're hiking shorts. You got your, and... I, I can't see them from okay. here. Uh, I'd rather look at your hiking boots, but I'm looking at your legs, and I'd rather not do that. Well, these are, okay. well, I have the Walmart version <laughs> of Crocs on, and um, this shirt is actually an REI shirt that's an extra large tall. Very, okay. well, very wear, happy hey, about finding wear that. Wear your outdoor clothes, okay? There you because go. today we're going to be talking with Andrew Livingston, and he's better known as Coach, Mm -hmm. and he is from Marion Outdoors in Marion, Virginia. We're going to get him on the show. Stick around for it. Happy Camper Radio coming in your ear. Happy Camper Radio. And of course, the Happy Camper Radio show can be heard all around the world by great listeners just like yourself, like me, like Daniel, like Sadie, who's under the console desk right now. (laughs) Hiding from me. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and I tell you what, if you want to enjoy listening to us, we can we be found just about anywhere you search. Okay, we're on all the major podcast directories. Mm-hmm. And of course, we're on the web there 24-7 at www.happycamperradio.com. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Camp Talker. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see Daniel and I do the show right here in the studio, ah. definitely look us up on YouTube and click on the little red box right down here ah. in the corner. Okay. You click on that and you'll be a subscriber to the show. You'll never miss a single episode. Yeah. Daniel, the weather's been great since it's I've hot. been home. Yeah. It's been a little breezy. Yeah, we've been out there. I uh, after uh um ah, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say we we did a show earlier today, but like after I uh, got done with that, um I went home and did the grass and whew, I was soaked. Yeah, well, so, see that's that's a that's a problem with you. You go out there and you get hot and in this this sun and I, I guess maybe you're used to it because you're a mail carrier. You know, yeah, and I don't I, and, really have a choice. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I don't, don't have air conditioning in the mail truck. I kind of like sweating a little bit. It, it makes you, you know, I think about calories being burnt. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I won't I won't go any further on that. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Daniel, we have, we have a camping trip coming up here real soon. And uh-huh. I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because it's going to be a six-day, five-night trip. And if the weather holds up nice... It's going to be one of my favorite spots by the mm-hmm. lake. Okay. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I got to go out there and uh, clean up the RV a little bit from the last trip. I haven't completely finished doing that yet. <laughs> but, you know, as every day goes by, I mark the dates off the calendar. And yep. I'm, I'm hoping to get a few more in here uh, before the summer is out. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, we're going, to, uh, we're going to be doing it upright. But uh, <laughs> on the show today, Daniel, we're going to be talking with a gentleman. Uh-huh. More along your lines, uh-huh. uh, the outdoors, okay? You're into backpacking and hiking. Yeah. And so is this gentleman by the name of Coach. Uh-huh. All right. And uh, he has a business here called Marion Outdoors, and they're located in Marion, Virginia. Now, if you're the type of a guy that enjoys hiking, enjoying backpacking, I'll tell you what, you're going to want to listen to this show. You're going to want to check out his website, listen to everything he has to say. Daniel, We're going to go ahead and get Coach on the show right now. Happy Camper Radio. And, of course, we are proud always to have a guest on the program. Mm -hmm. And, Coach, are you there in the background? I sure am. Okay. Hey, pleasure to have you on Happy Camper Radio. Uh, Coach, I understand that uh, this is a fairly new business, and you're in construction mode right now. Is that correct? With the website, yes. With the we website. opened the okay. business last year on April 1st, mm-hmm. and then opened the Hiker Hostel October 1st of last year. All right. Now, how long have you been in the hike, p- hiking and backpacking business? Business? Since no. last April 1st. Since last April. <laughs> I've been hiking and backpacking my entire life. That was my question. So, I didn't think I came out yeah, there right, but yeah, okay. So, yeah, you've been doing no, this. No worries. You've been doing this here for a while. Now, have you hiked the Appalachian Trail? Not the whole thing, no. I do section hikes all the time. I've just not had time yet to do the whole thing. I plan to eventually. All right. So right now you uh, you pretty much outfit individuals who want to go hiking and backpacking. And I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there that uh, have this in mind but never really sat down and thought what was involved in preparation for such a hike. Is that correct? 
That's correct. And we get hikers on there through hike as well. Like coming in, we're mile 534.3. So a lot of hikers by mile 500 are ready to switch out their gear to something lighter or better. So I help them find that. And I also help people who are planning on hiking the trail outfit their entire hike. I've done that for probably about 10 hikers so far. Now help how- them get all their gear, help them prepare for this trail. Now, how many people have you actually come across and found that they were overpacking for a long distance hike? Oh, uh, probably eight out of 10 hikers <laughs> that come through even after mile 500 have are way overpacked. It seems to be uh, a problem. <laughs> okay. And a lot of people no, like that. Um, yeah. A lot of people like that are ready to throw in the towel at that particular point, right? That is true. Yeah. I mean, if you make it to Marion, you're probably going to continue on, but there are certainly people who are ready to be done carrying 60 pounds on their back by Mm. mile 534. Mm. That's a lot of weight. (laughs) That certainly is. Now, now coach, tell us a little bit about your business. Okay. And what exactly do you do to get people prepared for any type of hiking adventure? Sure. Well, uh, Like I said, we opened last year, April 1st. We are a small business and it was very hard in the beginning to get the big brands in my store. So I pivoted and went to the smaller cottage companies and I asked them if I could sell their stuff in the store and they started letting me do that. And it turned out that that's what hikers actually wanted. Mm -hmm. So I've made my business off of mostly cottage brands. I do have some of the bigger companies in there, but I focus on the cottage brands and I, I feel the cottage brands have a better idea. They're usually backpackers themselves about what a backpacker actually needs. Um, so I've been learning every day about exactly what an AT hiker needs. And I've been learning my entire life, first of all. And I have in my business plan, I decided that I wanted to teach people about backpacking, kind of my trail name, coach. I want to coach people. So I started these uh, TikTok and um, Instagram videos, uh, giving people tips on how to prepare and how to hike the trails. Okay. Now, what about your hiker services? I see you have that on your website. Tell tell us a little bit about the hiker services and what you offer. So we have a hiker hostel upstairs of the outfitter and hikers can come in, do their laundry, charge everything. We've got these amazing bunks, their privacy bunks. They can shower, of course, and eat a meal in town. Uh, We do slack packing, which is where a hiker can leave most of their stuff at the hostel and take a smaller bag, go hike more miles because they're carrying less. And then we go pick them up and bring them back to the hostel for the night. And we've had people do that up to 10 days at a time. Ooh, nice. Um, Yeah. And you also have a mail drop service, too. So if anybody out there is is hiking the trail and they they get off in Marion, Virginia, and um, they have a package waiting right there for them, correct? Yes, we do get a lot of uh, hiker mail. And, yeah, they're free. You, a lot of people charge it, charge for it, but we decided, why not? I do get a lot of REI boxes, which is <laughs> uh, always interesting when they're buying something from REI to have it shipped to my store. But you know what? It's all a part of it. Mostly it's just resupply boxes with their meals and um, some gear. Like a lot of people switch over to summer gear in Marion because it's right around that spring, summertime. So we get a lot of that as well. Okay. How many folks do you have working for you? I have, including myself, there are three of us and an intern. So I've got a store manager. I've got a hostel manager. I've got an intern, and then there's me. So it's wow. a very small business. Okay. R- real small and business, just, but the, the, a lot of rewards for folks who happen to be hiking the trail and uh, are coming to, yeah. to you for good advice, good equipment, good gear, and uh, a great place to stay if they need to. Well, the, the thing that I like about uh, your place, Coach, is that um, 
you know, you sell the uh, cottage brands, like you say, and like, you know, I've been kind of in this world for a while and they're only online or if you go to trail days or the kickoff, that's like the only place you can actually, you know, feel the actual thing. So I think it's, it's amazing that you have those cottage uh, industries at your place. And like you said before, th- I think they're better. And that's, that's what, that's what all the people that I know prefer. Actually, that's, that's really awesome. Same here. I've, I've actually gotten that a lot that hikers appreciate um, being able to try on and yes, exactly. a that, jacket. Or that's the, that's just, yeah. yeah, that's the, that's such a rough, you know, part of it. Cause you know, I watch a lot of your TikToks, and you're like, oh, this, this, and this. And I was like, oh man, I wish I could try out. Cause I think you, you do a lot of uh, backpacks that I've never really experienced. I'm, you know, I'm an Osprey person, but like, you know, all the ones sure. that you do, I think my friend has one of the ones like, uh, like you have, and like, he's a pretty experienced hiker. He did the trail back in 2014. And like, I don't know, it just seems better because I think they have their heart into it. And I, I've actually met a bunch of people that, uh, you know, start a company. They do it like one at a time. You order it, they make it, you know? That's right. Yeah. And in this case, I actually have to order it Mm -hmm. and then have it custom made for my shop. Ah. So I'm kind of guessing a lot of the time (laughs) what hikers will want. Yeah. But it's, it's happened to work out that's so cool. far because hikers do want to touch it before they I know. buy it. Yeah, and that's they're willing, awesome. You know, they're willing to support my small business, which is very yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely. Now, Coach, if I were to go camp, uh, hiking for the very first time, now not knowing anything about backpacking, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a little bit from Daniel. I'm not saying <laughs> that I'm going to go out there with him because I'll, I'll bring the rain and thunderstorms with me, and he doesn't want that. No, okay. he doesn't. But let's just say, for example, that I'm, uh, I'm going to be a, a hiker for the very first time. Um, what kind of gear should I be prepared to, uh, to buy, and what kind of price range for a, a first-time hiker would I be looking at? I guess it really depends on your hiking ability and then your own budget. If you can afford some high-end gear and know that you're going to enjoy it, I would probably push you in that direction. But if you're not sure, if you have no idea whether or not you're actually going to enjoy backpacking, I say go as budget as you can. So, or borrow it from a friend. I've done that in the past, the gear that I wasn't sure I, I wasn't sure about, I would ask a friend who I knew had it and they'd let me borrow it for a trip and I'd decide whether I needed it or not. So I say, if you're going for the first time and you're unsure whether you'll like it or not, definitely buy budget gear. And there's so many options out there. It may be a little bit heavier, but it's important not to spend all that money because hobbies are expensive and you can spend less than a thousand dollars on a full setup. Or you can spend three to four to five thousand dollars on a setup. Wow, that much! But oh yeah, start, oh yeah. <laughs> that I mean, is, that's the that's the BMW style of, of a. That's hike. just for a sleeping bag, Skip. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I'll t- I'll t- I'll t- let me tell so, you what, Coach. If it, what if, I, it, <laughs> if it were up to me, I would go ahead and borrow. And uh, I, I have a guy right here in the studio by the name of go. Daniel. I can borrow from because he borrows from me all the time. Yep, yeah. he's the hardware store over here. <laughs> Okay. And what you can do is if you get uh, slowly collect good gear. So over time, if you're still going out and backpacking, replace something here or there. You've saved up enough money to get a, a new backpack or a new tent over time. Then you can collect that gear like I have. It's taken me years to get my setup, um, but I just would save up money and buy something and replace it and now I have the setup that I really love. And although I'm still testing out a lot of new gear, because it is a part of my job to know um, the gear that I have in my store, what it's like, and to give an honest opinion. But, yeah, you can eventually have the gear that does cost $5,000. <laughs> wow. I, I would never have thought. Well, my, my issue, actually, is, like, so I have, I have a, a basic set of gear, but, like, I want to tweak it, but I don't want, like, um, you know, five, uh, um, backpacks and, you know, three, um, sleeping bags and, you know, four tents. Sure. Like, it's like, I have it, yeah, I but do. I, you know, <laughs> so like, I've got a, like, I've got a Kelty 30 degree, um, um, 
sleeping bag and, and it's fine. It works fine. Mm-hmm. And if it gets a little colder, I've got a, a reactor, um, a seat of summit, you know, that I put in there and that works for colder days. But like, like my friend, his name is Gary green giant. He's been on the show a bunch of times. He's got it. Like last time we went hiking, he has like a, a 40 degree, uh, um, sleeping bag. And it was like as big as like two of your hands together is one of those, um, uh, down ones that cost so much, but sure. it was just like amazing. I was like, Oh man, I wish I had that. But I was like, but I don't want five, uh, sleeping bags, you know? Well, what I tell people is if you go for around 30 degrees, that can be used all year. It may get yeah. hot in the summertime, but also buy a sleeping bag liner yep. that will that's, get you that's what I got. Yep. colder. And in the summer you can just use the liner. That's, that's exactly to. what I do. That's exactly what I do. That way, yeah, that way you don't have to own so many sleeping bags, even though that <laughs> I like to collect. So, yeah, yeah, Daniel was so psyched up about that new many. tent that he bought. Uh, oh, he, yeah. actually, he actually went out and set it up yeah. in my backyard, and we we <laughs> actually had video of that on the show. Yeah, yeah. So I know. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I recently <laughs> bought myself a new tent as well. Oh, uh, what'd you get? Durston Gear, Durston Gear X Mid Pro One. Ah. it's a trekking pole tent. Okay, it weighs sixteen ounces. Nice. Yes. That is very light. It's Dyneema, completely yep. waterproof, and of I'm in love with it. <laughs> how, how many Z-Packs do you see? I, I feel like everyone has a Z-Pack tent. Everybody has the a Z-Pack duplex. duplex. Everyone. Uh, I also own one of those. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's the it's, Cadillac. It's yeah. an amazing tent. And <laughs> yeah, it is. for the weight. I mean, like 19 a, ounces. Yeah, like I was saying before, actually at the, the kickoff, they have like a, a little area down from the hotel where all the uh, people pitch their tents for the night and, you know, mm-hmm. you know, hang out and stuff and all that. But yeah. And there must've been like seven or eight of those things. Absolutely. <laughs> it's an amazing tent. I yeah. highly suggest them. They're just pricey. Yes, they are. But I <laughs> met them there too. I met them there. Like I met, you know, some of the owners of the business. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Sure. <laughs> now coach, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Sure. I, I know it's important to uh, tell folks to uh, pack light, and that includes wearing light clothing, like light a light T-shirt or you know a pair of shorts. Um, I'm sure that you educate the the hikers on footwear and the importance of that. What do you recommend for is, for folks that you know are going to be taking a hike? Footwear is the most important piece of gear that you can buy. Finding the right footwear will actually make or break your hike, whether or not you get the right footwear. And it takes time. That's the problem. The best thing you can do is go into an outfitter with an owner who knows what they're talking about and try on shoes with him. Have him measure your foot. Talk to him about what kind of foot you have and your hiking ability and work with him or him or her to figure out what shoe would be right. Yeah, that I can see the importance of that. You know, somebody with the experience because anybody can walk into a shoe store and buy a set of shoes and say, "I'm going to go hiking," and uh, <laughs> uh, regret yeah. that decision. I have so many people who come in and say, "I want an ultra lone peak," and that's a zero drop shoe. And if you've never worn a zero drop shoe, that can cause problems. It also a lone peak doesn't have much cushion, so if your feet aren't used to hiking rooty, rocky trails you're going to be in a lot of trouble and you're not going to finish the trail. The funny thing is that's so. what, that's what I wear, but I also have like custom insoles that I put in there. Cause like, you're right. That, yeah. uh, that thing is very thin, but I've also thought about, I um, up, I thought about transferring over to Hoka's. I've heard a lot of good things about Hoka's. Hoka's are great. Or the, even the ultra Olympus, if you really like the yeah. drop. Yeah. Those are the expensive ones. <laughs> Yeah, well, Coach, I tell you what, the information that you provided here to our listeners, and especially myself, because I've learned a lot uh, just just sitting here listening to you and Daniel chat. Okay, because oh, you good. I feel like I'm rambling on. That's that's okay. <laughs> hey, that's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we have the Happy Camper yeah. Radio Show, and it's just not for yeah. RVers like me, or yep. you know. In my case, I'm a, a former primitive tent camper. Former, yeah. yeah. He okay. used to make so I used that's to okay. I used to camp in a pop up all the time. And he was a primitive guy. Now I'm always hiking and doing, you know, backpacking stuff. And he's always in his RV. So, like, the, it's totally switched up now. Hey, life is a series well, of chapters. I take, <laughs> I take my family car camping all the time, and I eventually will have an RV. I just there don't have go. it yet. 
Yeah, it, probably it, the most expensive piece of gear I ever buy. <laughs> it, it it takes time, and uh, it took me one time camping with Daniel down in a state park and watching all my gear get ruined because of a massive oh. rainstorm that ru- that moved in. And three days later, I'm pulling up the road with my RV. Hey, Daniel, come on out and check this out. <laughs> and I've crazy. been an RV guy ever since. Well, Coach, hey, listen, I want to thank you so very much for uh, talking with us today on the phone. And uh, tell us how tell us how our listeners can get in touch with you and learn more about your business, uh, Marion Outdoors. Sure. Well, first off, follow me on TikTok. It's at Marion Outdoors. And follow me on Instagram at Marion underscore outdoors. You'll get the most information from those two outlets. And check out our website, MarionOutdoors.com. Um, let's see. Yeah, call the store if you want to order something. If you have a question about the gear, call, my, call the store and I'll talk you through it. Okay. Well, Coach, I want to thank you so very much for being with us on the show today. And I hope to be talking with you again sometime soon. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Thank you. Wow, Daniel, there's so much that goes into hiking. Oh, yeah. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> I never would have thought gear could be costing as much as $5,000. Oh, yeah. Well, right? well, you want the good stuff. Like, like he said before, if you uh, if you just want to go out there for you know the first time, whatever. I mean, Walmart has a bunch of stuff, too. I mean, it's a little heavier and, you know... But like you could pretty much buy everything you need at Walmart. It's going to be a little heavier, but you know you can get it. But it's just like the stuff you buy. It's expensive, but it's it's really good quality because it, it it's going to take punishment. So it needs to be high quality in order to take that kind of punishment. Because if you buy cheap stuff, you know you get what you pay for. And it's going to make all the difference in the world, exactly, as far as your hike is concerned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah. In other words, you know, if you're going to go hiking, uh, take coach's advice, you know, talk to somebody like he says, you know, your footwear is going to be their most important and the most crucial uh, piece of gear. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you have the right footwear. And I I, I understand that. Okay. That's coming from a guy that doesn't even hike. All right. (laughs) Yeah. So you talk to the people who've been there, done that and know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Daniel, it's time now for our featured campground of the week right here on the Happy Camper Radio Show. Okay, Daniel, let's go to the state of Michigan. Aha. Uh-huh. All right. You ready to go there. right now? Sure. Okay. I know some people up there. All right. The weather's nice. You might want to consider the Sand Lake Campground near Iron, Michigan. Mm. Wow. This place looks beautiful, Daniel. Okay. The Sand Lake Campground is situated on the scenic shores of Sand Lake and provides a selection of site shaded by mixed hardwood forest. If you're by the lake and you don't like the sun too much, maybe you can camp into trees. All right, there you go, okay? But uh, this this is a lovely campground. It's located about 15 minutes from the Pine National Scenic River and several other lakes, okay? I don't know if they're talking about Lake Michigan, which is pretty big, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, there's, there's some lakes out there. The popular <laughs> campground sits within the Urine Manistee National Forest, far enough from town to let the nature splendor shine, but close enough for the convenience of access to gasoline and groceries. We'll have a link to it all week long on Happy Camper Radio. And if you want to go ahead and just check out that information, look it over, definitely uh, plan, plan a trip up to Michigan. This is a definitely uh, a campsite you want to see. And also, don't forget, folks, don't move firewood.org. Check out that website. We have a link to it on Happy Camper Radio. Protect the forest from those tree-killing pests Mm -hmm. by buying your firewood locally and burning it on site. Once again, don'tmovefirewood.org. Check it out. This is a beautiful campground. If you want to go to the state of Michigan, if you happen to be passing on through there and considering a number of different campgrounds, this is one that you should consider. It is the Sand Lake Campground, and it is our featured campground of the week right here on the Happy Camper Radio Show. Skip and Daniel. And of course, if you have a campground you would like for us to feature on the program, get in touch with me. Please do. Skip, S-K-I-P, at happycamperradio.com, or this guy, the massive hiker. Hey, Daniel at happycamperradio.com. Bring your tent along, too. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and be sure to include a link to the campground website. Well, I'd like to thank Coach again 
for being on the program. Mm -hmm. Always great to have informative guests, Very somebody who knows what they're talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's been in the outdoor business and anything that has to do with outdoors, you got my ear for sure. Okay. <laughs> But we're going to be back on the show again very, very soon. Yep. And, Daniel, I'm looking forward to having you back here in the studio right along with me. And that's going to wrap up this edition of the Happy Camper Radio Show, Episode 263. Thank you, our listeners, for hanging with us for so many darn years. Mm -hmm. Ten plus years, Daniel. Yeah, that's wow. what the award says. Yeah, it certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, friends, every pet deserves a loving home. I want you to do exactly as I did. Visit your local shelter and adopt a pet today. We're on the web 24-7 at www.happycamperradio.com. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Camp Talker, and if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, definitely do that. Find a Daniel the little box right there oh, with there the pup tent. Ah, okay, you got it. <laughs> the Happy Camper Radio Show is a presentation of Skip Huber Productions. I'm Skip. I am a happy camper. So is Daniel. Yeah. We'll be back with you again soon. Thanks so much for listening. This is Happy Camper Radio.